Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on air, Tanya Innovations Africa platform. I hope everybody is well. I know we have listeners in the United States. We have listeners in Europe. We have listeners on the African continent, but in particular in Uganda. We welcome you all to this show tonight. And as we had communicated earlier, we have a very resourceful global expert in cybersecurity, but also in business networks. And it's for that reason that we are going to have this show tonight in Africa. But of course, it's morning back in Canada where he comes from. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be aware that this platform of Tanya Innovations Africa in conjunction with Business Life Global, was started with the intent of making sure that our viewers, our listeners, people who don't have the capacity to interact with investors or who can manage to, uh, to collaborate in those high forums can have a chance to directly talk to the investors and also to showcase what they have. Today, the host, Amaganda Evans Tabingwa, the CEO of Tanya Innovations Africa, and also who doubles as the head of Africa Business Live Global. I would like to introduce my guest tonight, and I'll give him a chance to talk about himself. Uh, he has a very rich CV. Um, this is none other than Mr. James Casso, who happens to be the chairman of Cyber Security Global Alliance worldwide, and who also doubles as the board chairperson of Business Live Global. So if I may use very brief terms, he's actually my boss, and I'm working with him in this partnership uh, to make things change. On that note, Mr. James Castle, you are very welcome to this platform as you are going to speak to Africans, young, old, business, those who are in startups this evening, which I think is your morning back in Canada. Could you please greet our viewers and introduce yourself, Mr. James Castle? Thank you, Maganda. Uh, very nice to be in here, folks, uh, men, women, and children from around the planet. Being able to speak to you today is an absolute honor uh, to speak to our B BLG family, friends, and honored guests that are here with us today. My name is James Castle. I'm the chairperson for Business Live Global and for the Turnover Defense Group, which includes Cybersecurity Global Alliance, also known as CSGA. The CSGA is a federally incorporated membership-based nonprofit, non-governmental organization operating within the Turnover Defense Group led by Turnover Defense Solutions. I began my journey in working in the emergency management sector for over 20 years. I developed emergency plans and procedures for a variety of companies, organizations, and government bodies, and even countries globally. After starting the Turnover Defense Group, our company started to specialize in defensive technologies and services, including in the areas of cybersecurity, cyber defense, cyber education, awareness, even certification in electronic defense, and so much more. CSGA was founded in the second quarter of 2021, not too long ago. And from its growth rate, we have already become a team of CISOs, cybersecurity experts, educators, networkers, developers, subject matter and program matter experts located in 14 countries globally, operational in three. I am the business mentor and coach for new members and volunteers within the CSGA. And uh, previously through the turn, Turnover Defense, we help members 
and select people and becoming aware uh, in the cyber, cyber world of major pain points that we face globally every day, as well as in business, networking, and speaking in a variety of key business areas. I believe that it is important for us and people like yourselves and the people from around the world to pass our knowledge forward and to be remembered for our contributions to society and our, our wish for economic growth in a global pandemic. Recently, our dear Victoria Beale, the founder of Business Live Global, joined the CSGA as a new director. And in a short period of time, Victoria and I together found synergies that allowed us to create a new future shared together that will influence and grow people through networking and communications, which we are going to guide for years to come. Even more recently, I met Magen, uh, principal of Tanya Innovations. Maganda has taken the lead to develop BLG in Africa, starting with Uganda, which is now building a new chapter in business operations, networking and business growth, including investments. Today is a new day, folks, and we have now just begun. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, James, uh, for that elaborate introduction. I would just also to, um, uh, like to be sure that uh, our viewers can now get the volume very clearly. But I thank you very much for the introduction. I would like to acknowledge uh, members of staff from Cavendish University, led by Professor Mugisha, uh, who are online. Uh, Professor Mugisha is my immediate boss back in Uganda. So you are very welcome to the platform, Professor Mugisha. So, um, Mr. Castle, I see you with a very rich CV in relation to cybersecurity, and I have seen you come on board to uh, Business Live Global. What is this partnership about between uh, Cybersecurity uh, Global Alliance, which you had, Business Live Global, which is an idea and baby child of Madame Victoria Bell, whom we cherish so much, and the Tanya Innovations, which you're believing to do the work on the African continent. So um, how, how is this partnership unfolding to be able to fulfill the vision that you have uh, for, for the African continent? Maganda, that's a great question. I'd be happy to uh, fill in the blanks. The Business Live Global and Cybersecurity Global Alliance partnership was originally developed to provide a systematic approach to helping businesses and organizations around the world that participate with Business Live Global to also become aware through a toolkit of cyber technologies and information and to expand business opportunity with a new toolkit designed for businesses and people globally. Tanya Innovations is a new organization that has a great pathway before them. And Maganda, I, I want to say it is being led by you, uh, who is hosting this fabulous event, and I consider you my friend rather than an employee by any means. <laughs> the partnership between Tanya Innovations and BLG and CSGA has only begun, and through Tanya's innovations, growth and maturity, uh, we together will guide and develop new pathways and horizons to aid in the growth of economic stability within African countries, help build new services in cyber and data protection that will help FinTech and other prime business centers, uh, and in securing investments for African businesses to bring new services, education, and opportunities, all starting right there in Uganda. Okay. Wow. Um, thank you, um, uh, Mr. James Castle, uh, for being able to talk about the partnership. Now, um, at this point, 
could you be able to give us a brief analysis about uh, cyber security globally from your experience and uh, some of those areas that you think um, African companies, governments uh, could be able to partner with you uh, to cause change. And like I've told you before, I am a lecturer of uh, information technology uh, at Cavendish University. I've also been heading uh, e-learning department. I'm particularly interested to, to see how your programs of cyber security and many other projects that you are having, how they could be scaled down uh, on the African continent or still for the benefits of other businesses or entrepreneurs who are listening to this program tonight? I would be more than happy to doing that as well. I, I guess really, if we're going to be focusing, talking about how CSGA and Business Life Global can assist Africa, uh, their governments, universities, businesses, youth industry, and so on, uh, I would really like to visit what our vision is within CSGA and then moving on from there. The Cybersecurity Global Alliance is an international leader in research, advocacy, developing and lobbying policy and industry needs on cybersecurity and cyber attacks. The CSGA assembles strong, innovative, multidisciplinary teams to address contemporary and future cybersecurity and legal challenges faced by government, industry, and individuals. Our board members and general members become leaders in government, business and in their communities globally. What this means overall is that we try to focus our efforts in working with organizations to challenge what is currently in our society. Right now we hear in the news all over the globe, Canada, US, South America, Europe, Asia, of cyber attacks, ransomware attacks, zero day attacks, and the list pretty much goes on and on and on. And as we look at this, we need to start creating solutions. All we are seeing right now are what we call black hats or threat actors attacking various installations in order to fill their coffers in a collapse in economy due to the pandemic. We need to change this. We need to come together. We need to work as one and start showing the world that we speak as one voice. Now, this can be done. Uh, it is the intention of Cybersecurity Global Alliance and the Terra Nova Defense Group uh, through Business Live Global to aid Africa through the Business Live Global relationship to increase global development and its investment of its own uh, services, such as in developing a cyber hub, for example, or in building a business collaboration center that will allow Uganda to come together and focus on global developments that will save many things within its country, its education system, its training institutions, its universities, its banks, and that list continues to go on. Um, I'm, I'm also very pleased to state that we uh, will be engaged in mentoring people uh, already. And we have already selected our first candidacy and have accepted a person to mentor that is a member of your own group of BLG Africa. Uh, you will know him as the founder and president of the Incredible Youth International in Uganda. Uh, James, and I might say his name incorrectly, which I've done twice before, Nick Twa Twa? Twa Twa. Uh, James I was Twa close. Twa. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I've had a couple of meetings with James, and mind you that the name's going to be wickedly easy to remember. He is a really amazing person that I hope to mentor and direct in helping work with you and Tanya Innovations and your business ventures to bring together what the world needs right now. We need unity. We need the ability to communicate. And outside of the services that we provide to Business Live Global, 
Victoria has been the connector of dots for a long time, and I am so proud of her accomplishments in Africa as we start to develop the world in unity and creating the change that is required to protect our needs, our citizens, our families, our assets. And I am very proud to be the chairman of this organization to provide this oversight while we work with great people like yourself. Um, wow. I think I can say that is, uh, th th that's a great way to introduce and dive into the matter. Um, I have seen Victoria Bell saying this is very fabulous. Uh, we want to thank you, Victoria, and I want to acknowledge the network from the UK, uh, which is on this show. I also want to acknowledge the no network from Canada, I think, which is out of the efforts of um, James, and we really value you. We have three members of parliament uh, who are on, on this, and I want to thank you. Um, and then Ambassador Zake of Abu Dhabi, we thank you so much. I can see the Inaife in Ubusoga. That's part of um, the local association where I belong. I can see you tuned in. We want to thank you so much. Uh, now, James, it appears that we have uh, quite a broad collection of listeners. We are seeing honorable members of parliament. We are seeing an ambassador. We are seeing um, leaders of higher uh, institutions, like my professor from Cavendish University. We can also see uh, communities, I mean people from local communities where we come from. The question now comes, or what most of them are trying to listen to is, what is this in BLG or Business Life Global that we should be able to convince different businesses, different members of the community to join Business Life Global? Great question. And what I'd like to do is actually spin that a little bit to really identify for our listeners out there the benefits of partnership and development under Business Live Global, if I might. I think it is important to understand that Business Live Global will help businesses and governments to grow through communications, network, and in helping other businesses around the world to meet the current day challenges that we face to aid in economic and regional growth, to expand current opportunities and to look at other assets such as smart city developments and to participate in any way that we can to help our new brothers and sisters here in Africa to become successful as well as a well-driven society for all. And as I know that we have listeners from around the world, we are not just restricted to Africa or Canada or the United States or the <laughs> United Kingdom. We are here to help you. It doesn't matter where you are, what your capabilities are, we are prepared to make the distance. Business Live Global and Cybersecurity Global Alliance may not be the employment centers of uh, providing full-time employment. We are here to provide international and domestic organizations with services and the ability to operate and grow themselves in order to offer the areas of employment, development, uh, social freedoms, and being able to say at the end of the day, hey, I got this job, I can now help my family. That is a big key word, especially coming around seasons, greetings, and many of the other holidays that we face every year. Business Live Global was designed and developed to create new business opportunities for all who attend. People who are prepared to work with the team and share in global resources. Now, Tanya Innovations is now BLG Africa. And, is, and as any partner of BLG, it is the responsibility of every partner 
or global BLG firm to best represent BLG in the best possible way and serve the greater good of the organization and the country it serves as a whole. Each partner must hold to the standards, policies, and procedures, understanding that their services have a specific code of conduct that will best serve our members and partners globally. We are proud to be working with Tanya Innovations as we set and lead by example as a new branch partner working in Uganda for us. And together as a family, I can honestly say I am honored to be working with you, Maganda, and looking forward to a very bright and successful future for the world around us. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Castle. Uh, I must say those are very heavy statements still. And uh, we want to appreciate the great work uh, that we have just started to see around the globe. Um, now, uh, this might not be a very comfortable question, but I'll ask you in the interest of uh, the perception many Africans have. Um, sometimes I have seen politicians in Africa, I have seen very many people uh, making arguments that um, any support that comes from Europe or from the US or from the first world only dictates what people should do instead of looking and appreciating the challenges that uh, uh, you know the local team has identified. I have heard you talk with passion, respect for individual companies, CEOs. Would you want to tell the audience, just for clarity purpose, the different approach that BLG, uh, Business Life Global, and uh, Cybersecurity Global Alliance is using to respect the initiatives that we have locally and also to be able to support our initiatives rather than dictating what we should be able to do? Well, excellent question. I think that could be broken down in about four or five parts. Uh, but let's, let's start now and let's off one at a time. In regards to politicians and positions on the way that the governance currently works globally, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of reason to be concerned about what can or what may happen based on political uh, gain or financial gain or other issues that may or may not uh, play in the significance of making change. Thing is, at some point, somebody has to stand up and speak for the people by the people and make it really clear that you are not alone, that we can stand together and bring change. The nice thing that really brought the Cybersecurity Global Alliance together with Business Live Global came from the way our organizations were structured. Victoria has created an infrastructure that if modified correctly could become one of the largest in the world that I can see over the next decade. Now, in order to get there, we need to make sure that our clients, our services, uh, the people they represent are well aware of what it takes in order to do proper business, working with good protections, making sure that their assets are safe, Getting out there and giving people the right information is key when it comes to creating what we need in order to advance. I cannot speak for all of the governments, but I can tell you this, the Cybersecurity Global Alliance has its own in-house uh, legal team of British barristers that are working with our organization to engage lawmakers to develop key legislation changes that can help put an end to ransomware, put an end to zero day attacks, put an end to cyber threat, put an end to cyber stalking, 
put an end to all of the damages that are being done online. And you know what? The people that step up to the plate are not going to be the people praised will be the first ones to be attacked. And the reason why somebody needs to step up to the plate is easy. There are a lot of good people out there in the world today that are being hurt through social social interaction and social attacks and somebody needs to step up for them. Somebody needs to work with them. And the best way we can do that is as a nonprofit, but by spreading the word and developing the communications that are required, BLG through Victoria and now through yourself, it's going to be critical that we spread the right message so people can feel confident about the decisions they make and know that they do not have to be terrified of every single moment around them. Let's start building together. Let's put the fear where it belongs and throw it in the trash. It's okay to be cautious. It is okay to be aware. But take the right information and work with the right people. Is our tasking going to be easy? No. Will we back down? Not going to happen. And as long as I'm chairman for Business Live Global, we are going to not only work with our members and our branches, such as your own, but in order to establish this global, we have a lot of work to do and we need real people to work on real problems. And this is the beginning, folks. This is where it is. And I believe in my heart and soul and God willing, uh, the entire future lays right here. 2022 is going to be the start of something great. And we are all here because if you weren't interested to make these guides, these steps, you would not be here right now listening to me and to this presentation being done by Makanda. I hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, please feel free. No, to it, no it does I'm very well. I, I just thought that you know, sometimes I keep on explaining things to uh, new members. I keep on explaining what we stand for, and especially the Passion Victoria always uh, repeats. Uh, she usually says that if we are waiting for somebody else to determine uh, the change that we want to have, then we, we cannot have a better person or a better group like, you know, like the business agents. Yeah. So and it's for that reason that we all have to think of how to create solutions, uh, you know, business solutions to society problems. And I think um, I thank you so much uh, for making that very clear. Uh, but what has made my day firm is when you talk about God, that first of all destabilizes me but then it makes me feel great so um thank you so much for those submissions i would like to during your submission you talked about the mentorship uh, that you're intending to give to um brian twatwa that is international incredible i think it's international it is. Incredible yep. youth. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yeah. it is. Um, I have known Brian to be one of the most refined young men in this country. Uh, right now, I think he's, uh, he's been appointed to be a honorary consul of, uh, cons of, of a country in Europe. And he has done a commendable job. He has a network of over three point something million youth all over the world um he has come on business life global in less than I, th I think it's less than a month but i think you have been able to identify the talent and be able to make an addition you are talking about a cyber school cyber security is very yes. expensive to teach uh, the last time I was engaging other partners, they were costing between $2,000 and $2,500.
Now, I would like you to go a little bit further and give us a picture of what type of school that you want to put in place. And for other listeners, I'm sure my vice chancellor, uh, Professor Mugisha, is listening right now. He will be ready to, 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 to invite such initiatives. The cyber school you want to put in place, is it only going to be mentorship uh, with that particular organization? Or for the listeners who are online today, could be able to come on board uh, and, and, and find ways of how we can make this span throughout the country. What is your vision in this direction? What type of school are you planning to put in place? And what areas are you looking uh, to do the training and engage in? Excellent questions. I think, uh, again, down to two points. So let's talk about the hub. And then we'll move into the mentorship program, which will fall under the hub. And okay. that should cover off exactly what you're asking. Our proposal for developing uh, this really falls to proposing to open in partnership with universities, corporations, and through the Business Live Global is to developing a digital smart center that will engage cyber hub opportunities within any city or country anywhere in the world. This will range for providing services to companies, businesses, governments, and other areas where may not be identified in the discussion that we're having. Uh, as technology advances and new concepts and capabilities emerge worldwide, it is important that Africa becomes a leader in the strategic integration of innovation and effective cybersecurity solutions. This can range from national infrastructure into defense, protecting the sovereignty of Africa, protecting its wonders that the world sees and has learned through history, through time, and it, regardless of the life or the wars or the issues or the political, everyone has these issues all over the world. We are all one family on this big, beautiful earth. The CSGA cyber hub that we are considering to helping Africa to build has been planned to meet the threat head on with utilizing a state-of-the-art smart facility with access to meet spaces to classroom, to innovation and research labs that will create a new quantum resilient encryption manufacturing center. Now, there's been a lot of hype worldwide about what quantum resilient encryption is, can it be manufactured? And in a perfect world, I will tell you plain and simple that quantum resilient encryption has been built. It has been done by a Canadian corporation and it puts an end to ransomware. Now, as we develop out the software aspects of this, we look at our partners to identify key themes that will really save our lives, save our business, save the challenges that we face. You know, the world is a small planet when it comes down to saving data or protecting our livelihoods because nearly everything we use are concentrated on phones, computers, anything with reasonable data that can be stolen with the right access code. These facilities that we want to work with Africa to develop will allow you to create your own centers that will allow you to aid in working with public, working on more secret levels, even working with military organizations in conjunction with your capabilities in all that you do. Um, it is important to have an evolving threatscape that barrages organizations with increasingly sophisticated uh, and target systems that allow us to train organizations and companies from the threat of cyber attacks. Utilizing a multifaceted strategy is necessary to defend against breaches on all fronts of your IT and digital environments. 
we are prepared to utilize in the global network through Business Live Global to making sure that your members, that your organizations and the people that work within BLG are well informed and know the differences and what to look for. When it comes down to cost, that will be another issue and we will cover that before I finish or conclude after what the mentorship program is about, because it is vital to understand where we are. Actually, you know what, better yet, I take that back. Cybersecurity Global Alliance is in the process of developing a cross-border cyber drill that is working with the Canadian and U.S. government. Why I bring this up? We are not charging the government a dime because it is important to provide the right information, the right people to make the right judgments. Our entire world is in trouble. We need to come together. We need to learn. We need to advance. I'm not saying for everyone should do it for free and far from it. But within the reasons that are there, you know, sometimes we have to pay a little bit extra in order to get the tools we need to be better protected. And if you're asking me to develop out the entire financial plan, it becomes a challenge because it's based on one's economy. It is based on tighter, tighter volumes. I mean, in some countries, uh, we can look at what the economy is between Canada or Africa or Europe, and many things change. Uh, I'm a Canadian ambassador for the EU Commission's think tank called Drone Think Do. We represent over 70,000 high-profile tech companies in 64 countries globally. And I can surely tell you that there are some countries that struggle every day in their economy, but they believe in the growth of defending their countries and their families and their livelihoods through what we can bring to the table. Now it is BLG's turn to pass that word and we can do that together. The mentorship committee is a little bit more different. The Cybersecurity Global Alliance's mentorship program exists to connect and empower our members by fostering positive relationships in, <coughs> excuse me, in the CSGA community. Our programs encourage sharing and aims to promoting leadership and commitment to the cybersecurity, cyber education, and cyber professions in the world today. Benefits to mentors include developing new relationships and meeting new colleagues in the CSGA community, practicing and refining leadership and coaching skills, receiving recognition for experience and accomplishments, and getting a fresh perspective and insight into the challenges that we face as new professionals. There will always be courses that will be available somewhere in the world that can demonstrate the abilities of cyber attacks or what we do or courses we need, but there are programs that you can do. We have an immigration service built in CSGA that can help people from Africa go to other countries to get real-time education that can lead you to great potentials in, in Canada or around the world. We have uh, benefits to the mentees, also include access to feedback and suggestions from experienced professionals in the field, meeting and developing professional relationships with colleagues, the insight into the realities of cybersecurity and information work globally. While networking is encouraged, the mentorship program that CSGA has developed uh, does not exist to facilitate job placement or internship, but we do work with universities and colleges who have job creation and job growth program to allow people to mature for a program as best as they can with the guidance of subject matter experts that can provide an example to somebody that wants to follow a pathway. What they do with their life will be based on what drives them, what they're passionate about, and what they want to get up every morning and say, I love doing what I do. Those who may want to come on board and participate, I just wanted to make sure that uh, they don't think it's limited uh, maybe to one particular organization. 
and um, to let them know that CSGA um, has it's actually planning to scale this uh, in Uganda for a start, but this is going throughout Africa. Um, we have Babangida from Nigeria, uh, Jaite from Gambia, uh, Isaac from Sierra Leone. Uh, I acknowledge uh, your participation on this platform. Doto Ibambasi uh, from Dar es Salaam. Uh, we also acknowledge your participation. Uh, Sami Lutomia uh, from the USA. Uh, we also acknowledge your participation. Um, and many other members. I think I can see George Abraham uh, from our platform and many other companies that are participating. We really appreciate your time and we thank you. Um, James, I, I think next is, I'll, I'll be inviting some questions in case uh, people yes. have questions. Mm -hmm. I would like to request that you just type the question that you have uh, onto the platform. Then I'll be able to read it uh, for James to be able to respond. But as we move on, I would like to interest our viewers that there have been so many complaints we have made on the African continent. Sometimes we think that our answers only lie in the political leadership, but COVID has given us a hot challenge that we must be able to change the way we think, the way we network, and the way we produce results. Um, Tanya Innovations, together with the Business Life Global and Cyber Security Global Alliance, may not give all the solutions but we have started with the most simple things we can do as much as possible just like what we are doing today we are aware that most of the solutions we need lie in the business arena but we also know that we need to network with people who have been there number one for mentorship but number two to be able to learn best global practices. So what this platform is ideally doing is providing a forum through which um, Africans who are involved in startups, Africans who are already involved in some business and they want to go to another level, should be able to find partners both within and outside the continent through such interactions. But we also provide this platform to ensure that you can directly talk to these investors. As James has actually said, he's been ahead of over 70, is it 70 business networks? 70,000. 70,000 uh, 70, uh, okay. businesses and tech companies, defense companies and so on, yes. Yeah, over 70,000 business networks. I think you understand. Even if it's by Ugandan standards or African standards, that is a big network. I am a testimony of these networks. I think for the short time I've been with BLG, I've interacted with um, people who have been able to add a lot, who have changed my mind. And we just do this using technologies. So I want to implore all the listeners who are there to utilize this platform. Today we have James. We are still going to have a number of guests who are going to come and speak directly to you. They'll be able to talk about the opportunities that are available for you to be able to tap in. And we are also trying to ensure that as Africans, we can talk. Most of the time we say we are Pan-Africanists. We say we are in East Africa Federation. Uh, but it appears as if that association usually remains for the top leadership and the people down on ground find no way to interact. So I want to extend an invitation 
to uh, business leaders, political leaders, people who want to showcase what Africa is made of, what Uganda is made of. BLG and companies of the kind have given us a chance to be able to show what we have. For example, for the last, I think, two or so months, in most of the networks that I've been attending, uh, BLG has given me opportunity to talk about my country, has given me a chance to talk about Africa. It has given me a chance to bring on board other business owners to pitch their businesses in Europe. And this is where you're seeing that we now have people like Brian Tuatua uh, getting the collaboration network of uh, CSGA. So um, still, we want to thank you so much, uh, James, uh, for these initiatives. Uh, we are not taking it lightly, and we are going to ensure that we utilize these opportunities to cause the change that we want to see. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a time for questions. And I'm waiting for those questions on the platform. Uh, we are having only 13 minutes to go. Uh, but if we don't have questions, then we are going to get closing remarks. I haven't gotten questions so far. But if you have questions, you can just type them on the YouTube channel. And then we could be able to uh, bring them out uh, to our guest. So, um, James, any specific remarks that you want to make to, uh, to our audience? No, I, I would be more than happy to by putting out a call to action. This is a really important time for people around the world to come together. Maganda, uh, it's an absolute honor to see how you've developed your organization, participating from the start to seeing where it is now. You have a very bright future ahead. It is time for all of Africa to take its place and become a world leader in business communications and in cybersecurity defense. Starting with our new industry partnership with Tanya Innovations in Uganda, and in the very short time that I have had the opportunity of knowing Maganda, he is somebody who cares and I trust his judgment to help lead Uganda moving forward in the world today. I would really like to thank the 125 plus company, uh, countries uh, and companies that have attended this meeting today. Uh, and for those that have become Business Live Global members, and ask you to invite your fellow entrepreneurs, reach out, get back to Maganda. And if you need some extra advice or a little, little bit of uh, boosting, you know what, I'm here. I just posted my LinkedIn uh, profile, please connect. I am always here and you can always ask any questions if you'd like to. Thank you very much for having me today. And if there are any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Okay. Um, thank you, James. Just some comments uh, from Joe from Johannesburg uh, saying it's a great show. Uh, comments from David Sinclair, uh, the Chief Technical Officer of BLG, saying it's a great job. Um, George Ab. Uh, also saying you're doing a wonderful job. From Professor Mugisha, he says questions with great, eh? he says excel, excellent, great questions, excellent answers from James. So uh, we really want to thank you. Uh, you know, professors do not easily give credit. So we want to thank Professor Mugisha uh, for taking his time. Uh, to be on the show today. We want to send greetings to Cavendish University. We want to send uh, greetings to all the listeners tonight. Since you haven't asked questions, uh, it tells me that the guest has done a very wonderful job. As we summarize this, 
We shall always be on these platforms on Fridays or during the weekend. We shall be bringing in different types of guests, uh, especially business oriented to talk to you. So we, we, they expose the opportunities they have and then uh, you can be able to tap into them. But also from our side, we shall be bringing in government officials, uh, leaders in the private sector to talk about the opportunities available in Africa. And we shall then use the technology to make the ideas meet. And that's part of what Tanya Innovations, Business Life Global, and uh, Cyber Security Global Alliance is up to. Let's use the platform well. Thank you once more. I will, for those who are in Uganda, I'll say have a good, blessed, good night. And may God bless you so much. To those who are in Canada, what time is it, in uh, James? 1.30 in the afternoon. Oh, 1.30 in the afternoon. Those yeah. in Canada, good afternoon. Those who are listening from the United States, good morning. And we thank you so much. Let's work together to create the change we want to see. Um, next week, we anticipate to host Madame Victoria Bell, uh, who is the CEO of Business Live Global. And we shall also be expecting to host Ambassador Zake Chibedi, the new ambassador of Abu Dhabi. So please tune in and we shall still use our platform. May God bless you all until we meet next week. Thank you so much, James, for your time and for elaborate type of presentation you have made tonight. We've really been blessed. My thank pleasure you. and thanks again. God bless everybody and stay safe.